Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Backwater Films. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Okuma Safina Pro Spinning Combo. I just picked this up the other day. Um, I wanted a new rod that would be mobile. Uh, I could take and just fish off the bank. Um, could break down easily. I just wanted something, you know, pretty good uh, quality for the price. So I'm going to go through this and uh, explain to you guys what all we got going on here. So you can pick this combo up for probably around $60. That's what I picked it up for. Um, it is a two-piece. So, you know, it comes apart. And I really wanted that because uh, a lot of times I'm going to be, you know, in some tight areas. I can just break it down easily. I can put it in a car. Um, you know, I'm not always fishing with somebody that has a truck, so that makes it nice. Uh, another thing is it's a medium action, six foot, six inch rod. Now, it's not a very long rod, but I didn't want that because of the tight spaces that I'll probably be using this in. Uh, a lot of times I'm going to be fishing on a creek side where there's trees hanging over, or maybe even a pond where there's trees hanging over, but... Either way, I didn't want something that was very long, which this is really good for. Um, when I'm casting, I'm probably not going to get snagged in trees real easily, and it's really good for flipping jigs or you know anything like that. Um, the best lure weight that they suggest with this is quarter ounce to three quarter ounce. Um, I know that I've used a pretty good range of lures already with this, and you can pretty much throw anything. It does pretty well. Um, so that's the rod. Um, I like the rod. It's pretty flexible. It does the job and um, you know I'm really impressed so far with the rod itself. Now let's go into the reel here. This is a 5 to 1 gear ratio uh, so you're getting pretty good gear ratio for the price. It's four bearings so it's going to be pretty smooth. I've noticed myself that it's been pretty smooth and um, I have 20 pound suffix braid on here. Now they suggest a 6 to 15 pound test. I wanted the 20 pound braid because it's equivalent to 8 pound mono in size so I can put quite a bit on there but I'm also going to get that strength that I'm looking for you know. A lot of times I'm fishing in places where there's a lot of rocks to get snagged on or you know even trees or something I don't want to be breaking off uh, I've broken off on a lot of fish, but I'm using the 20 pound suffix braid and I really like it so far. So I would suggest, you know, anything um, around the 8 pound test mono size would be a good, good thing to put on this reel. Um, I really like the smoothness of the reel, it seems to work pretty well. Um, I've only taken it out once, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more testing with it, but so far I really like it. Um, I'm impressed by, you know, how good it is for the price. You know, it's just a cheap setup, cheap spinning combo, but at the same time, uh, Okuma really did well at, you know, giving us quality for the price. And I wanted to do a review on this because, you know, a, a lot of us don't have two three hundred dollars to spend on rods so I think sixty dollars is a pretty reasonable price and Okuma really did outdid themselves um, with the quality on this and one thing I do want to point out is um, you're not going to be casting very far with this rod just because it's a shorter rod um, it's not designed to cast very far so if you're looking for a rod that you're going to be casting pretty far if you're on a boat on a lake or something I wouldn't suggest this. Now, if you're going to be fishing along rivers, creeks, um, small ponds, this is the perfect setup in my opinion. Um, that's the main reason I got it and I really like it so far. Um, so yeah, I actually have another video out. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can see it in action, but I'm using this rod to fish with. Um, fishing in Loyal Salt Creek so you guys can see how this rod operates um, yeah it's uh, it's a pretty good video of this rod just you know how it performs and stuff I don't really give a review on the video but you'll get the idea if you watch it 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, this is the Okuma Safina Pro spinning combo, the medium six foot six, and the reel that has the five to one gear ratio, four bearings, um, around sixty dollars, like I said. So uh, if you're interested, go ahead and pick one up. Um, I'm not sponsored by Okuma. I just felt like I could do a pretty good review on this rod. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this, if you like the review, leave a comment below and maybe I'll do some more reviews. But uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and I'll see you next time.